Well, good morning, everyone. Angelo from The Reef is Up, T-Squad RVing. Today, we winterized our RV. That's not why we're excited, but we are excited to share what we do after we winterize our RV. There are steps to take. Many people that they just winterize their RV and do nothing after that. Well, I know that there's certain things you have to do after you winterize. Let's do those together. This is not in any particular order because they all have to be done. And let's do that now. I'll close all my slides because I don't want to bump my head as I crawl under the rig and stuff like that. So we're going to start with number one. Yes, we are on top of the RV. As you know, the Grand Designs build these things to walk on and you will not damage the roof i mean you know you're not going to jump up and down on the roof but you they, they build these to to just walk on and um, inspect your own roof so let's start from the front right here these little cracks right here they may not seem like a big deal but water starts to get in those and then cracks will appear even more so what i do is i just start right here and i just inspect the entire front of the RV on top. And here's another one. I'm gonna bring this to your attention right here. There's another one right there. Like I said, that may not be a big deal, but that is a crack that can open up even further. So then I'll inspect all of these around. I'll make sure there's, you know, no cracks there. That one looks good. So basically I just took these clips off. These are, by the way, is the Max Air 2 that we use we have three of them, one here, one there, one in the back. We use these to cover our vents. This way we can drive down the road with our vents open or even better. We can have these open during the rain and we could still get the air and this max vent air blocks the rain from coming in. So I'll look around here and I'll look for cracks all the way around. So. I gotta be honest, I already inspected this entire RV on top of this roof. Put these clips back here. Come on. There we go. So you're gonna inspect that, that, that. You're gonna lift this max air vent, check that. And you're gonna inspect all around your windows. Here, there, all the way around. So I checked them all out. I found a few cracks and this is what I use, okay? I use this kind of caulk. I grabbed it from Amazon and you can actually purchase it. Actually, I'll put a link down below and you can actually purchase it from Amazon. I would order it now. It does take quite a few days to get. It's not something they, they sell like and they ship it to you overnight or something. So anyways, then I go back here and you can notice this crack right here. I'm gonna show you this. See this big old crack? That is not good. Water will get behind there, and you see how I could push it? It'll get behind there and eventually end up in your RV. That has to be caulked. This has to be caulked. Here's another one starting. Guys, this is totally normal, okay, for an RV. You gotta remember, you are going down the highway at 60, 65 miles an hour. You're gonna expect some sort of crack. Not only that, the weather, the sun, the cold. After I get done caulking all these spots, but just remember, take your time because this is the most important part of maintaining your RV right here. And this is it. So I just finished caulking all the little cracks up on top using that caulk that I just showed you in the description. And the roof is done. Now we're going to go and do the grease under. And they have these screws that have like a a little knob where you fill grease in. 
you just go ahead and inject those with grease. I do one or two pumps per uh, screw. It doesn't need much, just enough. And I expected it already. It looks good, but I'm just going to show you and what I do. And we'll take care of that right now. I have one here. You have to add your grease. Two there and one on the other end. So basically you're gonna get your grease gun and you're gonna squirt some grease in these. Oh, I like my board here. It makes me not get dirty and rocky and all that. So basically I have a, a grease gun with uh, just standard grease in it that you would put in the grease gun. And I'm gonna stick it in there right there. I'm gonna squeeze some grease in there just a couple and there it is it's coming out right there I know that is greased once you know it's coming out so let me get the other ones here I'll stick it in the screw here and I'll squeeze the trigger once twice it's coming out we'll pull that out I'll do this one squeeze the trigger twice oh yeah that one oh yeah that one kind of needed it there's that one, and I'll do this one real quick. I'm gonna crawl on the other side and do that side right now. Oh yeah, glad I'm doing it. I'm out of it. You don't want to put too much, but just enough to make sure that uh, they still have the grease in it. And you'll see I use two different kinds. I mean, it doesn't matter as long as they're both spray foam. I just got done spray foaming it with this one. I just closed the cap. I just got two of them just in case. So be careful because once this stuff is touches you, it expands. It's, it's in my opinion, it's a little dangerous. So that's why I always recommend wearing uh, a mask, gloves, and a hat and goggles. Under your rig, you'll see that it has all this foam wrapped around all the openings. There's a reason for that. Because you don't want bees getting in there and creating a nest, all right, under your under your bottom here. You don't want critters as well as bees. So you'll see this is done, that's done right there, okay? And you'll see some new spots. This is nicely done. I inspected that and I inspected this. So every single hole in your RV, I recommend, just filling it in with this spray foam stuff. And I'll show you what I just did. So yeah, so you'll see that right there. When I come over here, I spray foamed this. That was wide open. And I spray foamed whatever leftover was there. And that was wide open. I mean, seriously, bees can get in there. Critters can get in there. You want to make sure you take care of that before winter. And then we'll go over here. And you'll see the one spot that I did right there, okay? Every Everywhere else on the rig, I inspected, and I don't see anywhere else that needs to be done. So that's another thing you do after you winterize your RV. Make sure you walk around and spray foam that. So let's move on to the next. We did the caulking on top of the roof. Um, and then we greased all the screws on the inside of the leaves, those little screws, we scre we greased all of those. Um, we did the spray foam under the RV, all the gaps and the holes. Let's move on to the next one. So what we're looking at here is the windows. I'm gonna make sure that I look all around the windows, make sure there's not any cracks. I got the door. And I got this window right here. So not only will you look around the windows for cracks, you'll look around the seams here as well. So what I like to do is just take a rag and wipe the silicone all the way around. I'll wipe it, I'll check out all, I'll inspect all this right here, all the way down. And then of course the door here, I'll check that as well all the way up. So basically, everything that has silicone on it right now, you're gonna inspect. Even this right here, the kitchen, the outdoor kitchen, main thing you wanna inspect are your lights, the silicone around that, 
there and all your lights up on top the red ones there i saw one right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and just dab just a little bit and i'm just going to wipe it just like that and just clean it off the window if it's on the the frame Walked around, I inspected all my silicone all around the windows, all under, even these little gaps right here, I did all the way up. I only found a few, but hey, you might as well find it now before winter. It's here and there, but you know what? It's better to find it now than it is when you come out of winter and you want to get your RV going. So this is, I even clocked that right there, a few spots there. One thing with the with this part right here, I'll have to replace that in the spring because that's coming off and half this light works already so i already was warned that these don't last long i use my grease gun to grease the screws all over the place i use the silicone here as long as it's interior exterior 100 percent silicone you can't go wrong we silicone we fix the rooftop we siliconed all the gaps we fixed the gaps under the rv we greased everything let's move on to one more thing also what we do is we like to take our battery and just take it and put it in your garage on top of a block, on top of wood blocks, I should say, or put it in your basement if you have a basement. Get it out of the elements. Your battery will die. I know that somebody said, just keep a charger on it. I'm not going to keep a charger on it during winter, during snow and all that. So I'm just going to disconnect my battery, bring it to my house, and that's all set. So we did all that. We just took the battery. We put it inside. These are things that I do and I take care of, I maintain. I'm so glad I learn as I go, because there's other things that it keeps adding to the list. But this is the benefit of owning your own RV and doing your own stuff. It's cheaper. Um, like I said earlier, I winterized my own RV. Um, I, you know, if you don't know how to do it, I don't recommend doing it. Uh, the safe thing is just to bring it in and have it done and it's, and they're guaranteed to winterize it. I feel comfortable doing it myself. So there's a few more things that we do, but I'll put that in the next video. Basically, it's cleaning out our compartment under the RV, uh, just making sure there's no liquids in there. We clean out the outdoor kitchen is already clean, but I just want to make sure last year I forgot a can of sparkling water. When I got back, the can looked like it was about to explode. Good thing it did not explode, but can you imagine the mess? So that'll be in our next video. By the way, I forgot to say if you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button, stick around with us, check out all our future videos, our past videos, and ring that bell and you can pretty much get notified as we post videos. Hey, thanks for watching this RV of things to do after you winterize. We'll see you in the next video.